Hi all. In this episode of Bark on Shipyards, we we make spars for the sales, for the sale. Uh, my spars are are more than five meters long, and the spruce that I got was only four meters long. So I scarf them and I make them longer, and then I make them round and all that kind of stuff. And basically, yeah, this is how we do it. Eh? So here's a spar, five meters long been scuffed and done and it's rounded off all done with hand tools and yeah it'll do the job so these are my yard and boom they have to be they have to be again um, they have to be one of them has to be just over five meters that's the yard and then the boom has to be just under five meters so uh, over here in uh, the Balkans, all we can get is 4 meter lengths, so I'm going to scarf them. Okay, so here's my, sh so there's the short pieces and the long pieces and we're just going to, we're just going to scarf them up and come out with uh, whatever lengths I want and so on. So, I've decided to do a, with a 50 centimeter scarf, which 50 centimeters is from here to there, that's the cut line. So I'm making a template now for the skill saw. And it's pretty simple. You screw on a backing plate. That's what will put your template exactly in place. Yeah, it will get clamped on over here and there. And now I marked my cut line. I know that my, and the wood is exactly over here, that's, that's the width of the wood. So the wood starts over here. This is just drawing out like that, doesn't matter. From here to the end I've got a 50 centimeter cut. And that's exactly my cut line. Exactly. On my skill saw, I have, from the blade to the end of the table, 33 millimeters. Let me add to here. So now I'm going to screw on a piece of wood that the skill saw will be riding up, up against. That piece of wood has to come 33 millimeters from the line. So I've got 33 millimeters over here. I've got 33 millimeters over there. Now I'm going to pull a nice straight piece of wood, screw it in, and then I'll do a cut. That's the template done and in place. Um, so that's the guide. It goes up against the spar. And that's the guide. The skill saw rides along. Um, just because I used whatever offcuts I found. So I can get only one clamp on. And then the second clamp is a little bit more difficult, so you can come up with all kinds of clamping methods, you know, put another piece under or something, and, and, but I don't feel like messing around, so I just put a screw in here, and it's just fine, I don't mind, there's going to be a baby hole over there, Pfft, big deal. And now the skill saw will be riding along over here, and we'll cut the template, and the spark. Perfect off cut for a perfect scarf. And that's the scarf. Now just do it to all of them and epoxy. So these are the spars. 
And here's the scarf, this is to get glued on. Now, uh, epoxy works different from wood glue, from PVA. Epoxy doesn't, doesn't go into the wood and hold the two pieces together deeper in, goes into the pores and stuff. Epoxy just holds on the surface. Uh, it's also not as strong as PVA, but then PVA is not waterproof. So, you don't want to clamp too much, that's the main reason why you shouldn't clamp too much when you're using epoxy. You want to make sure that you got a layer of epoxy there holding the two pieces together. And it's a good idea to roughen up the surface. This has been cut with a skill saw and it's a little bit shiny here and there. And I'll take an old hacksaw. And it's a good idea to scratch up the surface a little bit. And therefore, you're creating a tooth for the epoxy to hold on to and to bite into. And your bond, the surface of the bond, the area of the bond becomes much greater because instead of having just a straight surface, now you've got a jagged surface that works out to be much more area. And basically, it's no big deal. It's very quickly, hope you can see. But it's all scratched up now and it's pretty jagged. And there's no shiny places and much better adhesion and there you have it perfect scarf now once the template's made then it just happens in seconds okay so 50 centimeter scarf over a five centimeter diameter spa so that means i've got a i've got a one to ten connection and i believe that's a good long spa uh, long scarf and uh, yeah should do the job. Came out sweet. So here's the scarf connection itself glued up on spa and I kind of forgot to show this on video so basically these are the offcuts but they're good for the for explaining. Um, I like fixing things with screws so nothing slides around and stuff and so I've put a couple of screws in here I first I first wet out the one piece of spa then I wet out the other piece and then I put thickened epoxy between the two because only thickened epoxy has got gap filling qualities whereas standard epoxy I mean you know if it's not thickened it can't really fill gaps it just doesn't do anything it actually seeps into the wood and yeah you don't have a bond so you really need to thicken a little bit of epoxy wet out wet out thicken epoxy put the spot together drive in two screws and then three or four clamps and you clamp lightly you don't you don't clamp all the way as if you're gluing up a piece of wood with PVA. You clamp lightly until you see that the, epo the epoxy is squirting out of everywhere and that you still have epoxy in the connection. And that's it. So once your spot is glued up, then with your skill saw set on 45 degrees and a guide, uh, then you will turn it into an octagon. I've cut off 45 degrees of all corners using a skill saw. So, blade set on 45 and the guide inside. And then the guide comes on this side and the blade's taken off that side. And uh, yeah, uh, it's, good, it's good to have another person holding the wood. And then he holds and you come up to him and then he goes behind you and you keep on going and that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's an octagon and we're going to make it into a 16 gun. And it's just an electric planer and take off 
all the eight corners on this specific size one millimeter down on the planer is just enough and it's as simple as it looks and I just keep on going all the way to the end eight times per spar then might plane it with a hand pen, I might sand it, but it's done. For the block plane. And it's actually fun. And you just start from one end and you go all the way to the end. And you just the way I like to plane is I I start at one end and I'm I'm planing and I turn the spa all the time and I'm planing. So I plane all 16 corners and I just plan, 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 plan and I turn and I turn and I keep on going until I come out with this and this is good enough I'm not even going to sand it I don't think I need to sand it I'll just, yeah, okay, I might roughly just buff it up a little bit and it's ready for paint it has a scarf itself and it's a strong spa it's a really strong spa you can lean on it, you can do whatever you want, it's, it's tough.